yesterday. Oh, you look good. Look at you. You look so good. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Oh, man, you look great. Shiny shoe. I love you. Really pretty. You look good. We clean up nice. Yeah, yeah, you know. As I stand here today, all I can think about is how thankful I am. Thankful that I met you and got to know you those few weeks at Oxford and that we stayed in touch when you left. Thankful for all the time we spent building our life together these past seven years. Thankful for your undying love, support, and acceptance. And most of all, thankful that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I could offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love. I feel incredibly lucky and blessed to have you standing here with me. But I know our love's journey doesn't end here. Rather, it is a new beginning or the next chapter in our never-ending love story. I'm so excited for our future together and the countless opportunities we'll have to create more lasting memories with each other. I look forward to us growing closer together day by day as husband and wife. We're nearly at the point of this special day where we share a kiss that is meant to bind us together for life but unfortunately for our guests they may have already missed that moment i believe the kiss we shared after that first tavern party was the one that sealed our fate it sparked a feeling in me that i knew i wouldn't be able to replicate or replace no matter what that being said i will still hold our next kiss in equally high regard and will forever cherish it as much as i do our first Wow, Gorgina. Yes. Wow. The hair. The hair, the eyes. I've never done my lips like this, and I'll never do it again. Make you feel my love. From the first moment that we met, I knew that you were the missing piece to my incomplete series. Um, you see, and you know, I have a tendency to hesitate when it comes to finishing shows. Mm -hmm. um, because reaching the end means saying goodbye to characters. Um, and stories that have become a part of my life, our life. Um, but with you, <laughs> Christian, um, I have never hesitated for a moment. And on the highway of the bridge. I find it difficult to bid <laughs> farewell to, you know, beloved characters and series. I promise to never shy away from um, a beautiful journey of our love. I can't wait to eventually finish every show with you by my side and to see our love story through, through the very end. <laughs> so today, when we go up there surrounded by our loved ones, I vow to love you unconditionally through any and all seasons of life, just as we eagerly anticipate the next season of our favorite show. <laughs> I promise to cherish every moment we spend together, knowing that our love story will never truly come to an end, but will continue to evolve and grow with each passing day. Um, with you, I have found my forever series, and I can't wait to binge watch it for the rest of my days. <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we are gathered here today not only to witness the union of Whitney and Christian in marriage, but also to celebrate the joining of two families and communities. In this moment, we acknowledge the deep significance of family and the support of friends who have played a crucial role in the shaping the lives of our beloved couple. As we come together to honor this special occasion, we also recognize that love is not confined to the hearts of just the bride and the groom. Love is shared among all of us, their cherished guests, who have gathered here from near and far to witness this beautiful union. Love isn't something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, honest, open, compassionate and kind, passionate and blind. Love doesn't know space or time, nor look through jealous eyes. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. There are many different kinds of love, almost if not all of which are represented here today. There's romantic love, the love of parents and children, of brothers and sisters and family, and love among friends. Not only do Whitney and Christian love one another romantically, and they do, you can see it in every look, every touch, every moment they're together. They also love one another as friends. In fact, they're best friends constantly giggling and taunting and teasing and very plainly and obviously having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other as best friends will sustain them through this marriage. In addition, the love collectively in this room from friends and family will help sustain and support the promises they make today. All of us here will help solidify this bond as these two individuals are joined as husband and wife. Whitney and Christian, this new journey will be at times richly rewarding and extremely difficult. But most importantly, it will be a journey we take together. It made me wonder where I'm going. There's so much darkness in the world. But I see beauty left in you, girl. And what you give me lets me know that I'll be alright. Cause if you love us all I had, in Whitney this life. In the presence of this good company, by the power of your love, because you have exchanged vows of commitment, we recognize you as joined as one. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. Woo! <laughs> my privilege to introduce you for the very first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Christian and Whitney Justin. Sick and tired of trying to save the world I 
just wanna spend my time with you, girl And what you give me lets me know that we'll be alright Cause if your love was all I had to get an apartment together once we got our first big boy jobs. I'm at work one day, Christian shoots me a text and asks if he can have an apartment. Apparently, he wanted to cook for a new friend he has. After I get off, I go home to pack a bag and this man is in there doing everything. He's cleaning places of the apartment I've never seen before. He's cooking something that smelled amazing. I can't lie, I got a bit jealous because I'm supposed to be this man's best friend, but he had never put me a meal like this. But once I met Whitney, it all made sense. To say she complete, completes Christian would be an understatement. She can be just as goofy as him while also being able to get him to get serious. Mama Ward couldn't even do that. And trust me, she was trying that for years. Hang around them long enough, and as we see here today, and you'll see Christian have the biggest smile. We literally would just say we saw this man's wisdom teeth all day today. <laughs> all his wisdom teeth. If you out there, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Break it down one time. Whitney is one of my favorite things to talk about. We met in sixth grade at 11 years old, and we've been sisters ever since. And that's not an exaggeration. That's, um, Whitney has always been more than a friend to me. She's the most understanding, supportive, and patient person I know. Whitney, I want you to know <laughs> that you truly inspired me to be a better person. I can't see my phone. <laughs> Sometimes I can't believe that I get to live this life with you. We've lived through so many life experiences together, but watching you marry the love of your life is my favorite one. You look so beautiful today, and Christian, you cleaned up nice too. <laughs> the effort you both put into today really, really shows. The way you two come together and compliment each other fills my heart with happiness.
Cool.